Hello and welcome. We are really delighted to share that uh, the registrations are really overwhelming. In fact, for the icebreaker activity, we have received various inputs and various submissions which are worth a mention and I will be discussing that. But first of all, I am also amazed by the composition of the different registrations we have for this course. There are few animators who are master of their art, but they have registered for this course just to learn this software called Blender. There are graphic designers, there are architects, there are uh, science students, engineering students. In fact, I know some of them who are come in pairs. So, a mother and her son have registered for the same course. I do not see that happening quite often in massive online open courses, but probably because of the curiosity of the topic has dragged them into this and I welcome all of them. For the icebreaker, the particular problem which we have posted has also received some very interesting responses. People have tried to put on their creative hats and uh, imagine different solutions for this uh, problem we had posed and uh, some of them are really worth mentioning. For example, somebody has tried to create a seesaw. Now, this particular design is uh, very unique because it is not violating the uh, terms and conditions we had mentioned. If you remember, we said do not draw a wall or do not draw a staircase. So, this is a kind of inverse staircase you can call it, but when we place it like this, it looks like a seesaw. And it fulfills the requirement what we had mentioned. There is a typical building layout or a skyline as you call it with a grand entry in the, in the center. There is uh, another one which will have probably similar looking building in a different shape, but people have gone beyond this particular stereotype thinking and tried to give us some very interesting submissions. If you cut into slant a particular square, you will get a triangular face from the side, but when you look at it from the top, you can still see the square. This particular aspect has been explored by people very nicely and the best example was this drawing of a factory, which, which is a ideal example which fulfills the requirements, but it is a unique design. Not only that, if you have a semicircle cut into a square, it will still look a square from the top, but it will not be the same if you look at it from the front. So, this kind of uh, designs where the building has arches on top of it will be a valid solution, but it will not be a staircase or it will not be a wall. So, there have been very, very interesting submissions and we thought we will just mention them and discuss them. Uh, we could not put all of them uh, on discussion forums obviously, because uh, it was taking too much of uh, memory size and loading was becoming a problem. So, we avoided that. We thought through this small video, we will just share uh, kind of submissions which have happened and we will keep making such videos whenever we have such kind of assignments uploaded in future. I hope that you are uh, enjoying the course and we at the course are fully prepared to take you to this journey of Blender 3D animation. So, welcome again and enjoy the next videos which are coming up. Thank you. Thank you.